Sure. Uh, thank you. Uh, my name is Eric Johnson. I'm an incline village survivor and an original prototype for the uh, Holmes chronic fatigue syndrome. And uh, I noticed straight off that all the clusters were occurring in sick buildings. In fact, um, every, uh, every cluster I encountered and every individual patient that I approached had some kind of connection with the sick building. And uh, we actually asked the CDC about it at the time. Of course, they weren't interested. But uh, I chased it down and I found out that all the buildings had toxic mold. This was definitely a factor in the syndrome. But I've been told since then that um, this, uh, I have no proof. Now, my question is, as a prototype for the syndrome with direct documented evidence from the original clusters investigated by the CDC, I felt that I have a right to have this investigated. So I was just wondering, what, what constitutes a relevant clue that uh, warrants attention from the uh, research community? Uh, what, what, trick, trick, what, what level of evidence should trigger uh, a, a legitimate investigation into something, more or less? Uh, well, we did have the uh, sick building syndrome, or the sick buildings investigated, and uh, the finding of toxic mold was confirmed. The problem was that at the time, it hadn't been discovered yet and wasn't entered into the literature. So when Dr. Cheney and Dr. Peterson uh, looked into it, they found no reason to suspect toxic mold as a factor. So in order to um, take this into account, we would have to revisit these events and take a look at whatever role it might have played. So, what about... Are there any environmental scientists from the public health school? <laughs> That's one thing I would ask. I, I, will, I will say that for, you know, it's not my area in health services, but um, environmental factors are hard to analyze because we're all exposed to so many things. And to narrow it down to one factor is very difficult if you're talking about a population. Now, if you're talking about an individual patient, you know, then it, there's nothing to say you can't go and experiment and go somewhere else for a few weeks. Um, or, you know, you saw the movie, she was very, she went for a more radical uh, way. But, you know, you could see if that makes a difference in your health. And I'm the person who interpreted lots of other ways. So she did find it to be um, there's, there's some in the And that's going to be an individual decision. But on a studies level, it's very difficult. I think that <laughs> we, we are, every clue has to be taken seriously. And without forgetting that we need to apply the scientific method and rigor so that, that we set an example. I, I think that by studying the way we are doing CFS, there will be other, or MECFS, disciplines and other diseases that are going to benefit. But we need to maintain the scientific rigor and the scientific method. Uh, we, we plan to uh, undertake a study for that. I'm, I've, I've talked to you about that, too. Uh, I think we need to figure out uh, what organism or organisms uh, are responsible and also then what do they produce and one of the problems is these uh, mycotoxins which is what you're referring to uh, are, are really toxic and uh, uh, aflatoxin is the most potent mutagen of any compound known and they, and they work at very low concentrations and i'm sure what the molds produce these is a defense mechanism and because uh, they'll kill off anything and uh, uh, the, the technology for measuring their concentration is is really not there, and uh, that's one of the technical problems. There are labs which will test it for you, but they're uh, they're they're called uh, they're they're on the quack watch. They're actually below the detection limit of the technology they're using. However, there's some new technology out there. That's what we do, uh, and we can uh, we've increased the sensitivity by ten thousand fold, and and we could be able to develop a, an assay for it. So. But that is in the plans. Uh, it's going to be a long time when we have to be careful not to spend too much money on it, uh, because it's a, uh, it will take a time to actually put that all together. But I do plan to do it. Thank you. Last.